places. He has already set it up and appointed. You are not an accident. You are not a mistake. You are not someone who's done something so bad that you can never be have a, have a blessed life again. That's not what this book says. If you respond appropriately to, the, to, to that moment, Somebody say this out loud. This is my moment. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about biblically. The Christmas story. There is a loser in the, I don't know any other words. There's a loser in the Christmas story. And all we know him as is the innkeeper. You remember the story of the Virgin Mary and Joseph? And she goes into labor, and she's about to have the baby. Now, now, I want you to see this guy. Talk about caught up in a net. I don't know what was distracting him from, from put, having God in, you know, really. If you'll stay in tune with the Holy Spirit, he'll, he'll make you, even if you don't know it, he'll make you in touch with that time and that chance. But the innkeeper, Jerry and my, Joseph and, 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 and Mary are about to give birth to the greatest miracle in human history, God in skin, in an eight-pound baby. And they want to do it in his hotel. And they knock on the door, and this guy has a casual whatever, opens the door, a miracle's knocking. He's not aware that time and chance are here. He, we would not know him as the innkeeper. His family would have been blessed forever. They'd probably have the Ritz Carlton in Bethlehem today. Can you imagine? But he didn't see it. He didn't notice it. He didn't even know. I have a chance to play a part in the story of the birth of the Messiah of the world. And he casually, only I really believe if he had known that this is my time, this is my chance. I, if I saw him in my mind, running through the hotel, opening doors, throwing people out. Here, take your bag, take your toothbrush, get it. I've got to make room for Jesus. I've got to make room for Mary and Joseph. I guess what I'm trying, I'm trying to stay calm this morning. But, 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 but what I want you to understand is I'm preaching to you this morning that whatever you've got to get out to let Jesus in, whatever you've got to empty out, whoever has to move out, whatever. Sometimes people are the net. Sometimes people are the cage, wrong people. But whoever I've got to get away and out to make room, make room, make room for Jesus. Or you, you just... He shut the door and went back to his ordinary life that was less than God planned for him. That's why it matters if you love God or not. That's why it matters if you honor God. That's why it matters if you read this book. That's why it matters if you have a prayer life and you just take time every day to acknowledge God because he says, if you'll acknowledge me, I'll direct your path. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.